Right, so this is a Pavlovid ammonite that fell out the cliff. Um, come out of the mudstone from the, what we call the Palacioide zone. And normally, ammonites of this preservation, we get, well, we get the, these ammonites, but not as well preserved as this. So what we got here is actually the shell preserved on one sort of side. It's covered in clay stone on the other side. It's probably still there, but it'd be a lot of work to, to, to expose it. The middle, I would say, is, is possibly there because you can still see the ribs going in underneath. But to be honest and brutally frank with it, it's not, for us, it's not worth sort of taking it right to the middle because we can see everything we need to see in these walls here. The other interesting thing, oh, and it was quite heavy. So it, it fell out the cliff in a huge great mudstone fall. And then it must have tumbled at low water away from the shingle because it's, it's not it's not warm by the shingle at all. It's probably been there for a couple of months. And when we were notified of it by a friend, we went round to pick it up and thought, yeah, we can handle this, but it was all covered in algae and it's so slippery, you couldn't really pick it up. But anyway, to cut a long story short, we stashed it and then collected it by boat about a week ago. Uh, and interestingly, what it's showing some really interesting features with it. Okay, so it's probably that the body chain would extend probably right around this full revolution, but the shell's been removed here, and you can see it's covered in these little rinconellis. It's got all rinconellis that were actually attached on the inside of the shell, and they're attached by like a bice as a thread. And you get these rinconellis, I think Rinconelli Portlandica, the name of these specimens are, and Camptonectes, with the other, um, again, they're attached by a, a bice. So they're in, in there. We've got also a few circulated worm tubes, and they're really just on the sort of side of that. Now, we were discussing it earlier, which side this ammonite was laid down into the seafloor sediment in. And I think it actually is this side, because I think um, that would be the sort of top side. And these rinconellas, and actually, because it's hollow, then they just actually dropped and, and found their way on the under, or the underside of the inside of the shell here. Uh, really, really interesting specimen. We, we get lots and lots of ammonites from this horizon but preservation wise they're normally pretty distorted and they got like set they're slightly sectarian and we can never get them out so as i say it, it's fortuitous that really this this tumbled out and was led on the beach uh, for us to sort of pick up that's all we've got for you today from the etches collection thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time